Thank you, everybody, for attending. Um, it's a great pleasure to have you all here uh, attend the information session, Bill Exchange Program. And I am Ahmed Adil Shaheta, uh, Exchange Manager for Center of Excellence in Energy. We are going to talk about the opportunity to fall 2024 Arizona State University Semester Exchange Program. It's a program that is uh, mainly spon it's sponsored by USA AID and is hosted by, administered by Arizona State University. There, uh, I just wanted to go over a quick overview of uh, who we are and uh, what our mission and purpose is. Arizona State University, ASUUS, established the Center of Excellence for Energy, the COE, in Egypt with the funding and support from USAID. The COE project is mainly in part as partnered ma three Egyptian universities for Moscow only. Hey, Gamat Ain Chumps, Aswan, We Mansoura. These are our three uh, partners in the Center of Excellence for Energy project here in Egypt. The goal for the CO, uh, COE is to to um, improve the capacity of Egypt's higher education institutes, free innovation and modernization of the public and private sector fee Mosque in terms of energy and sustainable energy practices, bin Kawi and strengthen government policy in uh, sustainable energy practices, as and stimulate economic growth and contribute the solution, solutions and innovation ideas to develop Egypt's challenges for the energy sector. And the main goal overall is to advance and support Egypt's goal by achieving the 40% renewable energy um, production, as you could say, by the year 2023 as set by the, um, the government of Egypt. OSCOE is a five-year project, and um, it's uh, we are currently in our third year. The goal, again, is to just promote, make awareness, create innovation and new ideas to, to supply the grid system with sustainable energy. Uh, so the how does this fall? Well, oh, and other thing about the, so we, how do we do this? We do this through um, changing, <clears throat> yes, like promoting new ideas in uh, the structure of the academic curriculum in the three universities that I mentioned, um, having students go on exchange programs to Arizona for one semester to learn about energy policy, entrepreneurship, and take courses uh, related to their field of study. And uh, once they successfully complete these courses, but that how would in Maladi back to Egypt with the transcript and all these things, uh, we also help and support research projects through uh, providing research grants for the sustainable energy uh, research and development in the three universities. We uh, have workshops that are um, every every month and a half we always have a new workshop that's uh, that covers uh, different aspects of uh, sustainable energy practices uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, workshops um, so on and so forth um, teaching different teaching methodologies etc and we um, all, we also do internship opportunities mostly in the summertime but we have internship opportunities for students in the three universities to go and learn about different energy grid systems and how we could uh, improve it as well. Uh, so uh, our discussion today is the ex exchange aspect for the COE program. And um, uh, the exchange is done with Arizona State University. Uh, basically, the exchange program is uh, you going. You're going to be a full time student for one semester, on the Arizona State University, taking science and engineering academic courses, uh, and the conduct the conduct research is mainly for the graduate uh, students uh, and also taking courses as well. But for undergrads, Loma. Uh, 
five-year engineering students who are mainly taking academic courses uh, and taking two, one of our requirements are energy policy course and a course in entrepreneurship. Uh, the graduate students mainly uh, conducts research in state-of-the-art energy laboratories in collaboration with ASU faculty, researchers, and other students there as well. Receive credit uh, for the undergraduate students mainly. Uh, you will be receiving credit transfer uh, that's transferable to your degree of study uh, at your uh, designated university, whether it's at Dania Inchams, Aswan, Al Mansura, uh, in their degree program. And they will be also required to participate in two courses, which is an entrepreneurship course and innovation and energy transition energy policy course. The exchange program uh, coverage is an overview. A program, what do we cover? Uh, international travel, logistics, and the utilities aspect of it. Tuition with academic fees for that one semester. You get health insurance while you're there. Uh, meal uh, meals will be provided to you there and living expenses as well and a stipend for that. An eligibility criteria for the exchange program mainly is you have to be an Egyptian citizen, to a green card card holder a uh, citizen from another country unfortunately. This is only for people from Egypt. Uh, you have to have a valid Egyptian passport as a result. You must be above uh, the year uh, 18 years of age and older. Be currently enrolled in energy related fields, Fi uh, Ain Shams University, er Aswan University, or Mansoura University. And what we really mean by energy related fields is uh, majority of in uh, engineering uh, departments do have a criteria for energy, but you need to highlight and showcase how sustainable energy practices is important to you. Um, sustainable energy. This is what the whole objective of the program, of the exchange program is about. What is, how is it going to benefit you in your career for the future? Um, this, uh, in, so for undergraduates and graduate students in the energy uh in energy in energy engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering other engineering programs related to energy or energy related fields such as energy efficiency in buildings such as architecture transfer and transportation energy policy energy sustainable practices uh energy in relation to climate etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, if you're also working with water, how can water and energy uh, nexus, how can that, if you have something in that field as well, you can also apply. And mainly, you need to have a GPA above 2.75, um, but I'm just letting you all know it is very competitive, and a lot of people uh, with higher GPAs are more focused on. But it, the minimum is 2.75 GPA. Um, one of the main criteria, Stavan, is the uh, English language proficiency. And uh, for the TOEFL, you need to have uh, I, an IBT, uh, IBT exam of 61 or above. El BBT is not what you guys are doing in Mosul. Egyptian TOEFL is not accepted and uh, it is not eligible. I'm sorry. 80 in the IBT, not 60. But the Egyptian IBT, again, the Egyptian TOEFL exam is not accepted. One of these certified um, English proficiency exams, which is the TOEFL, IELTS, Ufi, a Duolingo exam that is also accepted as well. The Duolingo is the most, is the most favorable option. Ashen Hoabiba exam online. But you must be aware it's very, uh, they're very strict. requirements Which is mainly do not have anything open during your exam. So that, that aside, you need to have these um, scores in order to be accepted and considered uh, as eligible for the exam, for the uh, exchange program.
you have not previously had a USAID opportunity in the past. So if you have been accepted for Haga Lea Lokabil Mauna Ablikida, um you cannot uh, apply for this program because we want to have more people have uh, to have more opportunities uh, in this exchange program and complete the application with the following guidelines and that includes submitting an approval by the department head and, uh, that you have uh, eligible courses for you to take for Arizona and uh, your parental documentation that you are going to be able to travel to Arizona for one semester. Male students, the children who program who want to do the program have to know what they are doing in the technique so they can know for the program. You need to know where you stand and you start in the grade or you know how to do it so you can do it so you can do it in the program. So, let's see. Uh, Undergraduate students must complete their first year of study at their home university in Manfashto, but it's a talib fresh, uh, fresh into the university with Adam. Uh, we look at fourth year students or senior year students mainly. That's, um, I mean, if you're a third year student, we'll call you we on the strong application. You might, you're also, uh, uh, you will be considered as well. For master's or PhD students, they must be enrolled in an energy-related program that were listed previously. in the call for the exchange program as well. But you need to specify that you are in an energy-related uh, degree from Tani and Shams, Aswan and Mansoor. But, oh, I, I did not catch the deadline. Sorry there. But it's a deadline, you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I don't want, I want to hide it. It's a deadline. I uh, didn't change that part, but it's January 14th, 2024. Oh. So it's January 14th, 2024 is our deadline, Mafish extension, unfortunately. And um, you need to apply as soon as you can in order to be uh, eligible for consideration. Um, the, screening, the screening process is done by the exchange committee. We look at your application. We see you have all the requirements that we ask for. And we contact you for interviews. And interviews D are done by Arizona State University and Ayn Shams University. We're going to mainly contact you with it after the deadline in the month of January, and we'll let you know what the next steps are. The criteria is based on merit, mainly academic merit. As I said before, it's very competitive. The GPA is the main uh, thing we look at. For graduates or undergraduate students, the merit type mainly on the progress that you have done in the major or degree until now and um, how far you want to progress or move forward. Extracurricular or professional activities, an English proficiency, personal statement, is we do really look into it to see how, how eager you are into going into this field. Uh, letters of recommendations from uh, professionals or uh, professors. And the interview is the conclusion of all this for the selection criteria. If you have a strong interview, then you will be more likely to be considered. An application should contain uh, your transcript, uh, your passport, which has all your information and your GPA and how many courses, uh, all the grades uh, in your, all your classes, your passport, as I mentioned, uh, the transcript, please, please have it in English because also the professors there uh, look at it in Arizona, look at it as well. Am I not sharing the screen? No, oh, I was not sharing the screen. Sorry. Thank you, Rania, for telling me. Now I'm having. The Zoom thing is in the way. Okay. So, where were we? Hmm. Uh, three letters recommendation. 
ال proof of English لازم تبقى a legitimate certificate for your the three exams I mentioned هما IELTS uh, TOEFL IBT and Duolingo أنا I highly again recommend Duolingo من فضلكو بلاش تخافوا من الامتحان ده there is a practice exam for Duolingo تقدروا تاخدوه على الموقع بتاعه على الموقع بتاع Duolingo they offer a practice exam that you could take it's relatively easy where again it's done online I really prefer you do Duolingo عشان people have approached me من قبل كده قالوا لي ما فيش مواعيد إلا بعد يناير and um, unfortunately we are sticking to our deadline of January 14th but take Duolingo if you have zero time and the student uh, course plan بتاعتك or as we actually now call it a pre-approval form دي لازم تبقى متكونة من كل المواد اللي هتاخدوها في جامعتكم والمقابل ليها في جامعة أريزونا. So you have to go on the Arizona State University website and seek out these courses and see uh, with your professors in your faculty which courses are equivalent to what courses you are planning on taking with them. A signed parental consent form. And your personal statement. If there is anything missing of these things, we will automatically not consider you, just so you are aware. So you must submit all of these things at the same time, before the deadline. And uh, that is it. I know it was a short information session, but I am ready for questions. Mina Rifat asked me, is it possible to join the exchange to prepare myself for the research period of my master's? Um, Yes, uh, one of the main things for graduate students only is to go and focus more on what you are uh, doing as research in your uh, field of study for the graduate program with that. So uh, graduate students, yes, they do have the opportunity to go and can work with a, uh, a professor who is working on something similar to what you're also focusing on. So you need to try and look up, just look up, Professors who are who are working in the same uh, uh, subject uh, that you are doing. Between the needed papers to apply, you require a proof of language proficiency. And I have not taken the IELTS test yet, but my English is very good, as all my studies was in English, both schools and the university. So is there any type of proof other than the IELTS? Unfortunately, uh, you have to either take a TOEFL, IELTS, or the dual, Duolingo exam, meaning... You're going to enroll as a student and one of the, as a university, these are, uh, the University of Arizona requires this in order to be admitted as a student. Currently, I'm going through the procedures of nuance of my passport and the deadline for applying is 14 and I think it won't be finished by that date. So is there any possible way to deal with that issue? That's a good question. Um, if you have a uh, previous passport that's expired though, I mean, we can admit you temporarily, but you need to indicate that a passport that you're applying for is gonna come soon. But you could, if you have an old copy of a passport, you could submit that for now. Uh, so thank you, Mina. N next is Marwan. I inquire about the possibility of applying for a program, knowing that I am a current master's student in a master of science postgraduate program. Eh? I don't, I don't. Uh, Marwan, can you please clarify what you mean? I don't understand your question. Is it, is, is it a question? Uh, oh, okay. Damn. I'm just, just, I'm just, uh... طالب ماجستير في ميكانيكال باور ديبارتمنت ف انا مش عارف يعني سالت زمايلي قالوا لي لا هو دوت ريليتد البروجرام ريليتد شويه بالكوسم انرجي اللي في كريديت هل ده بالنسبه لي هيبقى متاح ان انا اقدم في البروجرام ولا لا؟ يس اف يور سو اف يور ماسترز از ان ميكانيكال انجينيرنج اند ميكانيكال باور اند يو ونت تو فوكس اون سمثينج ذاتس ريليتد تو سستينبل انرجي از ويل يعني ذات يو ونت تو you have a, a re, you want to do some research in that field, you can apply. But it's not a limitation, yeah. as long as you provide um, 
proof evidence that you are very strong in sustainable energy and why you want to join for the motivational uh, letter of attack with the interview topic. تمام شكرا ازاي برضو اعرف احدد البروجرام او الكورسز اللي ممكن اختارها واعرف ما في هنا في مصر Uh, that's a good question. شكرا اللي انت قلت سالت السؤال ده هو للجراديويت ستودنتس هم البري ريكوزيت البري كورس ابروفل از نوت ريلي مانديتوري الا لو في كورس يو ار انترستد ان تيكينج في اريزونا يو كود اد ذا كورس ان ذير اف يو وونت مش لازم تبقى ايكوفلنت فور جراديويت فور جراديويت ستودنتس اونلي It doesn't have to be equivalent لأي حاجة أنت بتاخدها هنا، بس لو أنت شايف هي حاجة هتفيدك في الـ في الـ Master's Program بتاعك uh, degree, then you could uh, submit and say I want to take this course عشان ده يساعدني في سواء في كذا وكذا وكذا. شكرا لحضرتك. Yeah. Can I have your contact number, uh, contact information? Yes. Uh, I have it here. You could always email me if you have any questions. I'm going to share the screen again. Or I'm going to actually type it on the chat. Um, so I just posted my email in the chat. Hey, will be any inquiries? Please write in the subject Fall 2024 Exchange Program Application. Omar Abdel Fattah, there is no sign print. Oh, I will. We will add that in the website. Thank you. Where do we find? Oh, okay. Parental consent. The GPA that was mentioned before is two point is two point five. Was it updated? Yes. It, it is, but it is updated. But again, again, I want to mention to everybody, it, it's very competitive. Uh, you really need to have a strong GPA. The minimum is not going to be a great. Uh, strong point though if it's near 2.5 oh 2.75 even uh, what is the percentage of acceptance from the total number of candidates I can't share that information but uh, I mean just to apply uh, this figure Um, an anonymous attendee <laughs> sent this. Thank you, anonymous. Uh, Yusuf, he asked, "Is there any possibility to change the courses we will write in the pre-approval courses after being accepted?" Yes, there is. Taban, uh, that that's a definite yes. Ashen, sad in the process. Sad you but the course for Arizona might not be available. Our uh, course at Meta. هو مينلي مينلي في البري ابروفل فورم احنا عايزينكم تحاولوا تشوفوا على الاقل السبع كورسز سبع ليه؟ عشان لو في كورس ما عرفتوش تاخدوه حاجه ثانيه فروم ذا بري ابروفل فورم ممكن تبقى ان بليس اوف وات يو كانت ابلاي فور. Does that make sense? Uh, well, يوسف Yusuf, okay, another anonymous. If I am from Faculty of Engineering, Oswan University, from Civil Department, is this program in this program will be available for me? Yeah. I'm in third year now. But no, if you're no into Madani, if you're of civil engineering, you have to uh be. في يعني فوكس على ال energy um, sustainable practices من ناحية ال architecture وزي ت ت how to have um, more energy saving practices في architecture and civil engineering. But yes, you could apply. But again, you know more about your field of study than I do. But you have to prove the application بتاعتك زي at stagil el degree tatak for civil engineering in terms of saving energy and practicing energy sustainable practices my fashion to add them with all oh and uh energy uh and a engineer for civil engineering why is a kosher program no khalas like you have to really 
تحاول تقنع الناس اللي بتقرا الابلكيشن why you want to join this program وازاي انت تقدر تستغل الفرصه دي في applying the energy um, practices that you learned في الاكشينج بروجرام. If I'm a sophomore mechatronics department, if I'm in sophomore mechatronics department, am I still eligible to apply? Um, not really. Yani we do encourage you to apply. You might be very strong, but mainly I'm going to focus on starting from third to fifth year. I shouldn't their course towards their graduation, but still we encourage everybody to apply. Ashen, you never know. You might be accepted as a candidate. If I don't apply this year, is the program still be available for us in the next year or not? Um, it's still we're. That's a really good question, Peter. Wallahi, yani, ahna, things develop as we progress in this program. We are currently discussing this with future cohorts. Thus, uh, follow, sign up for the newsletter where uh, you could follow up on future opportunities in relation to exchange, inshallah. We hope to have more opportunities. This is hey, a mishwat hawi this thing. But we're, fo we're mainly focusing on this one. A question from Anonymous. Is there a format for the letters of recommendation? Could we use freehand signature on a paper, then scan it? Or we must ask the professors for electronic signature on the PDF? Um, I think it's best if you have the professor sign it by hand. Uh, he could print it, but uh, and he could print the letter, but then sign it. Where Mafish really, really recommendation, other than having three hundred words, maybe for a recommendation letter. But uh, Mafish Awiani, a specific. Uh, Format maybe have a, a letterhead with a gamma on the letter on on the letter end, and the doctor's signature. Do we need the dean's signature for the course pre-approval document, or my advisor and the unit head is enough? Um, it, it, it's based on Some some dean sometimes deans sign it, sometimes the vice dean sign it. I know for sure Ain Shams, we Mansura. And us one kind of, uh, they get it from their vice vice deans of the department, but uh, not necessarily dean. With Taban, the the head of the unit and your academic advisor as well, it would be an extra good uh, thing to have. Then Madrasa. So when we say full time student, Yasom, we mean that uh, you take fifteen credit hours. 15 credit hours is five courses. Two of them already are uh, the energy policy course and the entrepreneurship course. But you could take as much as, I don't want to be too straight up on that, but Sani, up to, you could take up to 18, but 18 and 19 is too much courses, too much of a load. But we don't want you to go and struggle. We want you to go learn and succeed. So we mainly focus on 15. Thus, if you you feel and you want to take more courses, we can um, review that and let you know if that's possible or not. Let's uh, try to have seba uh seba courses in your pre-approval form as you bind in a short flexibility, لو ما عرفناش نسجل في one of these courses that you recommend. Does it require a certain GPA to apply for masters? طبعا طبعا um, we do look at your GPA من ال uh, undergraduate uh, program بتاعك and uh, or or your undergraduate program. بنشوف إحنا ال overall GPA كان A. بس um, we also uh, will look at your feedback from your advisor Hennef, uh, in your university and uh, what your uh, research uh, subject is in your master's program. If I'm a sophomore in Mechatronics department, am I still eligible to apply? And uh, a similar, if I'm a sophomore, D, 
بس وبرضو somebody asked a question about um, another uh, في ناس سألت على كذا major loan of كذا other yes you can apply a program is multidisciplinary but we mainly focus on the science and the engineering of energy sustainable practices but you need to try and convince the people reading your application and in the interview inshallah why you feel in mechatronics you're going to be able to do great things in terms of sustainable energy and energy practices in terms of innovation innovation and research as well in the long term in the future your future plans and so on what is the minimum degree for undergraduate students in universities that don't apply credit hours? Degrees in percentage. Oh, uh, so the minimum, if you have the GPA system and the lower percent system, and it's uh, mainly going to be around, I think 75% is the minimum. 75% is close to 2.8. Five percent. If you work out the conversion, bordu within GPA percent. As I believe, uh, we don't have that mentioned in the call. But see, uh, I I would let me get back on that. But like, it should be seventy five percent in minimum. Salma Diab, if I if the pre approval form was not yet signed, as it takes time to be approved by the advisor, can I submit it unsigned until I get a signed version? Uh, Selma, I know we discussed this by email yesterday, and um, I just want to let you know, try your best. Um, ha try to have it signed by the head of your department or uh, your academic advisor for now. But mainly, if you do get approved, we will have to ask you to have it signed by the dean, and you might be considered a wait list until you have that approved and signed. Um, Neda... How many questions do I have? A lot. Okay, let's keep going. I'm a master's student at Ain Shams University, but I graduated from Hilwan University. Should I get recommendation letter from my uh, from Hilwan University? You can. I mean, I have I have a lot recommendation letters from Nes in the industry or from previous. Uh, though, if you had a job, will you want to get a recommendation from your manager? Sure, as long as they're uh, like in the private sector. But uh, yeah, you could have recommendation letter from your previous university as well. Um, and also from Ayn uh, Shams. You, try, you could try as many different methods as possible. And I have taken the TOEFL IBT exam two years ago and my score is above the required. Is it acceptable or should I have to go to Duolingo? Uh, it's acceptable. Expiration date. It's fine if you have a, a previous exam score. Um, expiration date D, but for us it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yes, you could. Uh, you don't have to take the Duolingo. IBT, the old exam does okay. Uh, anonymous. I have to get it through. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, Ahmed, we can hear okay. you. All right, thank you. Um, anonymous, uh, kind of froze. Um, my study is electronics and communication engineering. My field has a sector which is related to renewable energy, but the courses that I will have to have by fall 24 will be about electronics. Can I take such courses from Arizona? Aside from Arizona? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. As long as Tani, they have an equivalency to the courses that you take in the three that we mentioned. I have finished courses in my faculty. How how course credit will be will benefit me? Hmm. No, it won't benefit you, Ashen. You won't be able to transfer anything. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that question. Uh, Mr. Anonymous attendee at 4.33 p.m. Okay, next. Lua, where can I find the pre-approval form? It's on our website. Uh, COE website uh, has all the information you need. Let's go on it right now. 
Wait, well, let's do this, Barbie. Let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna send you guys the link for the central center, not central, center of excellence. Once it loads, but I'm so disappointed the video didn't work. I was looking forward to showcase the video. Yeah. Are you on? This is the link for the video. Oh, no, everyone, there you go. And the link for the everything that you need so far in terms of application is found here. Please check your chat. I'm going to buy two uh, links right now. Please check. All right. Let's keep going. Um, when will the parental consent be available? Soon, soon. I will be probably updated by tonight or tomorrow, inshallah. Any advice for a motivation letter or a motivational letter? So my advice would be I want him to... Uh, mention why you see yourself, why you see yourself uh, uh, as eligible for the exchange program for Arizona. It what are your goals and objectives from this exchange program? Where in, also in terms of uh, uh, sustainable energy, uh, renewable energy, and uh, energy practices, lay the development with the must for the Magalda. So you need to make a strong case. I think that is the most important thing that you should mention and discuss. And bad kida, you should also discuss what other objectives you want to learn, like what do you want to learn and take in Arizona State University. Where that's it. I think those are the two main things, Yani, that and Betty are um, important for the motivational letter, Mister Anonymous. Uh, Abdurrahman, what do what do you mean by strong GPA? Do you have to take the top percentage of students applied with your main focus on the GPA? I have a GPA three, and I'm not sure to continue with my application process due to this point. No, I mean you should still apply because you never know. I mean we had uh, GPAs close to that, but they were um. We had GPAs close to that, but what I mean by strong GPA is yes, a haga mainly above three is going to be mainly focused on. Actually, some people have higher GPAs, and we we also look at those. But we go and all the way to three. Some people have high GPAs, but some motivational letter, but that home would 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 feel that they want to do is is not really strong. Uh, we uh, we also look into these things as well for GPA. But GPA is a criteria mainly. But then, but once we see the GPA, we go down the list and see that, uh, like how strong is the motivational letter, how strong was the uh, interview, like you might be still you might be considered into going into an interview with Egyptian faculty and Arizona faculty by the Kevin Kawan and we see an overall score of for your everything. Uh, GPA is one, but we also yeah, in the end. So I know I I encourage you I encourage you to apply because you never know. If I am an artificial artificial intelligence uh, program in Mansoor University, is it eligible for me to apply for the exchange program? That's a good question. Um, and my answer is yes. Again. Because uh, yep, but you again, you have to make a very very strong case of why you see artificial the sector of artificial intelligence, and you yourself see uh, see yourself as credible into accepting 
accepted into this program. Energy, uh, sustainability practices with the, the whole subject matter of energy. So we need to make a strong case is what I'm trying to say. Um, if I have submitted my pre pre approval courses form, can I add or remove? Some? Yes, uh, I, I've answered that before. Yes, we can play around and not play around, but see what's available for Arizona, what's not available. You need to have at least seven to eight courses that are pre approved. I shan't not off to move things around in case anything happens. Um, sure. طب لو انا عملت يعني انا حطيت خمسه بس اقدر بعد كده تشينج ولا ولا لا خلاص يا يا بس انت هو انت قدمت خلاص وسبمتت ولا ايه لا اخو يعني هو كله جاهز خلاص والعميد مضى والادفايزر خلاص عايز اقدم ف عادي عاده تشينج بعد كده لو ما فيش حاجه افيلبل هناك ولا لازم ام اي وود Maybe try to work on it again after my time of full submission. But uh, I I know it's a hassle, sad, or it's a process. But you could use the same document. Uh, try to use the same document. But how to add more courses? Ashan, we're not going to go back to the old way. Oh, in the process, it does change. It can change. Um, but see, yeah, try try to look into it again with submit as much as you can. But you don't at the moment you see the home dollar of five plus. مش عايز اقول لك قدم ما تقدمها وخلاص بس يعني تراي حاول انا عايزك عايز اشجعك ان انت لا تراي تو كيب وركينج. اوكي ثانك يو. نو بروبلم. كان اي نو هاو ار يو ايفالويتنج ذا كانديديتس؟ انا اي منشن ذا قبل كده يعني اي ون انتو ديتيلز على دي جو اون. For my case, I mainly attended uh, intend the lab research. How many course, how many course I have to apply for to be eligible for lab research? I don't know your question. Uh, I don't know if you're a graduate or undergraduate. Where the graduates are mainly going to be the graduates focused on our research, after many undergraduates. Haga Muhammadan. يا جماعه لازم نعرفها الاندرجراديوتس ار اونلي جوينج تو تيك مينلي 99% اوف ذا تايم كورسز دول الاندرجراديوتس الجراديوتس ار جوينج تو بي فوكسد اون كورسز اند ريسيرش بس الاندرجراديوتس نو نو ريسيرش ات اول هيفي فوكس على الكورسز و اكسترا كريكولر اكتيفيتيز هناك بس نو ريسيرش اوكي فدي حاجه لازم نفتكرها كويس جدا دي مادة دراسية ولا حاجة تانية؟ لا دي مادة this, this is a semester a semester uh, again, an exchange program is you're gonna go to Arizona State University and you're going to be registered as a student فانت هتبقى طالب هناك full time مش مش هتبقى حاجة تروح تقدر كده privately لا هتبقى في courses هناك مع American and other students as well You're going to have a professor from Arizona State University teaching you. It's going to be like a normal semester in of Mosul. Okay. I have filled five courses, and oh, I think that's Omar. Is that you that just helped? Uh, if someone in the last year in faculty of engineering, this program will be available for him. Chad. If you're in your last year, أهم شيء لو أنت في آخر سنة دراسية you you could only apply in the fall 2024. لو أنت مثلاً قدامك السنة الجاية دي إن شاء الله طب آخر سنة يبقى لازم ت apply for the fall 24 session. بس ال semester اللي بعد كده اللي هو term التخرج بتاعك you cannot apply. Yeah, because بيبقى فيه اللي هو ال A research project back or back, and you cannot uh, leave the country as well. Uh, you have to stay in the most fashion fee. Uh, if you're low, I want to ask one this male. Now, my fashion suffer, Herrick Moss fashion deep to buy her son a leak at the knee. As a master student, how many courses I have to register for? 
Um, and uh, I mentioned this, but let me and uh, let me mention it again. You you're going to take the energy policy for the undergraduate students. You take the energy policy course and the uh, entrepreneurship and innovation course. لو في مادة أنت شايفها مهمة ليك في ال masters program بتاعك and you think is going to benefit you, apply. Register for that for Arizona and apply. لو هي حاجة unique and different and you think is going to benefit you. Uh, مش لازم تعمل موضوع اللي هو uh, المواد اللي مقابل من هنا وهناك بس لو في مادة أنت بتاخدها برضو هنا you think is transferable also apply بس المينيمم requirement دي اللي هي بتاعة ال 7 courses دي مش متطبقة على ال graduate students It's mainly for the undergraduate students How will the points be distributed for example what, no I can't discuss that it's um, صراحة for me all of them are equal I do emphasize a lot on academic merit. That's uh, the, all the rest of the stuff also applies. So right now we need to make sure you submit everything and we look at it equally. Wardu be a huge emphasis on the motivational letter will interview process as well. Uh, it's not really a Mtahan like approach. I have GPAs for BSC. Which one will I write in the application form? Wow, even um, that's a good question. If you could send me an email about this, that would be great. When I'm looking at my senior colleagues of how we could approach this, but please send me an email and uh, I'll let you know. But uh, I think it's, it should be the most recent one. If you're a graduate student and you're applying for the exchange program, it should be your your last updated graduate studies. وبرضه هتبقى هاندي if we see your undergraduate and your masters as well. I scored 7.5 in the IELTS test. I could not. Tani, expiration is not a big deal. الامتحانات الإنجليزي, you could uh, you could still use that to apply. We don't consider an expiration كحاجة يعني ill eligible. Is there a specific document format that parents should sign? I will, again, we will share this parent co consent document. Don't worry. Well, I, well, I accounted for lower points in English. Eh? I got doing the tests other than I. You will be counted for in the English if you meet the requirements. That's all I'm saying. No, a Duolingo requirement is 105. That's score. So if you get 105 or above, that's great. Because you need to get at least the, the passing score. I shouldn't uh, be accepted into the exchange program in the English. How can I make some courses that have more priority to be taken than other courses in my pre-approval form? And priority to الحاجات ال uh, that you mentioned in, at the first phase at the first part of the pre-approval form and then we work our we work our way down uh, the first ones are the priority ones and then we work down the list if the GPA is not above three will it be even considered and the other selection criteria will be looked at or it will be excluded from the other selection aspects if I applied this year I got what if you have a GPA, يعني, let's say above, uh, below 2.5, that's what was mentioned in the thing, then um, we will not consider you. But so we will look at your application if you have above 2.5. Does the internship in us one which was in the last summer, considered as a USAID fund? No, it's not. It's not. I'm talking about if you, from the USAID fund, I mean specifically, if you traveled on an exchange before that, with another USAID that they have. Talking about GPA, you take the GPA from the previous year, or I mean, we take the overall GPA, we take the overall accumulative GPA. Where can I find ASU US courses titles in the? program that's a good question uh so this is a great opportunity to teach this methodology shoya 
I wanted to tell everyone that I shared our contact information in the chat so you can all save it uh, and email us on uh, coe-egypt.asu.edu for more questions when the session is over. Um, so sorry to have to do this, guys. Can I just go over this real quick? Of course. I of think course. this Absolutely. will help people. Okay, so you're going to go on Google. You're going to write, Air no, not this. Mm. Arizona State University course. Oh, catalog, I'll abandon. You click on this. Our Mocha. Our class search actually is a better one. Class search, okay. So W's outlook, a selected term. You're gonna go to fall 2024. Fall 2024, okay. And then you're gonna put, let's say, e, I think it's oh, luck bad the FIBA, aerospace engineering, civil and environmental engineering. Elementary education, that's electronics engineering, industrial engineering, mechanical engineering. Let's click, there's electrical engineering. Let's go on that. Now I can do search. But how to show number with keywords? You just, they have to have a cool in from A to Z, from freshman year all the way to senior. Fa you go down this list and you're like, uh, blah, blah, blah. oh, circuits, look at that, circuits. So I, I get the, um, I get all the details. Uh, brief description or what the Katra be Warukul full description once you enroll into the course, but speak a brief description and it tells you everything about it here. You could click, you could try to find more information about it if you go. No, the department website, and you look up the course, you'll find more information about it. Let's say, courses for department, then the department all the courses made the department center uh, you might think, oh, I'm taking thermodynamics and before that I am a lot. You have to go through all the engineering um, departments which find thermodynamics course for you. So let's try this. Oh, boss, they have thermodynamics for biomedical engineers. They have introduction to apply. I yeah, see there's a bunch of different thermodynamics. So you need to try, I know this one is a popular course, course my engineering students. So you need to try and find which one fits your subject matter. Amen? And you will be able to find everything here. Haga tanya bas, akhir haga. El Kursat D500, they are uh, mainly graduate. Graduate students take 500 courses. You could, we can apply for, as an undergrad, we can apply for uh, graduate courses, but it needs, it needs uh, approval from the Technical and Arizona uh, State University Academic Advisors. You know, you could, graduate graduate courses. All right. Uh, I hope that helped. Let me add the link for you in the chat. And uh, that is it for now. My internet is super slow. So there we go. That's it, Yagama. Please save the contact information. My contact information, if you have any questions related to exchange, we're inshallah, best of luck with Tawfiq. We're kulisanat kulukul taibin.